All right, everybody, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. We just woke up. We're feeling a little foggy-headed. Just get a look at myself in the mirror. Yeah, that is the spitting image of beauty if I've ever seen one. Let's just do a quick smile. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, our friend's downstairs. He's picking us up in the garage. He took our car out for a day last night. Yo, I think I slept like... I went like 13 hours or something. Uh, let me, uh, let me put some clothes on. Uh... I, I actually think I, I got a new shirt. Character? This is inventory. Here we go. I, I got a shirt out of our, uh, out of, out of our safe house. Some of you may recognize it. <laughs> That's really cool, actually. That's really cool. Other than that, I haven't changed my outfit at all. We're still looking pretty okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I did take a quick look through the keybinds and uh, saw that you could press four to pull out your fists. So I don't have to. F I don't have to fumble with unequipping gear or anything like we were kind of doing in the last video. Yo, clean up. Why would you leave cards on the ground? What the? Oh, they got the door open. Good. Hello? Hey, V. Regina Jones here. Hey. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even Dude. call me a collector. Later, V. Open oh, up! We got a call! We're here to help! Wait, where is this happening? Because your life is worth it. They got a call, they're here to help, we know you're in there. Do you think anything actually comes out of this? I was gonna see if I could hack the door open or something. Looks like they're just sitting there on their tablets. Eastern Europe. Oh. Whoa, look at the red eyes on that kid. Anyway. Uh, what's going on in here, Ossifer? Can I talk to you? It doesn't look like it. Now move along. Nice and easy. What? I was just asking to... Jeez, so rude. Didn't even do anything. Are we just making our way downstairs here? Sign up for our Get away. God, you want me to go all the way across? Nine, nine, nine. Trauma team. Wow, you are a great color. Back to your doghouse. Oh, all right. Hello? Did mom send you? No, no. Well, good morning to you. Good morning. Your burrito stuck? Yo, I got you. Oh, this is distracting. Let's see what it does. Yo, there you go, my dude. Unless that's all trash, I mean... Why are you acting like there's not enough burritos here to last you a lifetime right now? Alright, my dude, take care. Just trying to help, you know, just trying to help. Excuse me. Oh, this looks great. What do you got? Hot dogs, hamburgers, and fries. Yo. Oh, hey there. Hey, how are you? Okay. We already have one burrito in our inventory. I don't think we need any more. Hold on, is this guy bicep curling? What do you say? It goddamn. So the outsides would be 45. So that the bar is 135. Then you add 70 onto that. That's 205, right? And then that's another what? 20 pounds there. It looks like Jesus Christ, you are so strong. Hi, you uh, looking for someone? The underhand grip deadlift, too. Jesus. Oh, yeah, just curl that. You just curl that all day. My God. You uh, see this? Hello. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm in your space. You know what? You're actually 100% right. I'm so sorry. 
I just never seen anything like that before. Yo, good shoulder extensions. That's good. Maybe I could give this a go. No, I don't think so. Yo, nice pants. I'm not in the mood. Can you give me a break? Yeah, sorry. God, I'm not making any friends out here. How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping he did. Oh, yeah? Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so how about it? Yeah, sure. Uh, where'd you get him? Where'd you get him, Fred? Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in. Fed him, clothed him. <laughs> nah, for real. He's a military bot. Got a sweet deal. And a truma mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. Yeah, let's give it a go. Let's do this. <clears throat> Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. Yeah, got it. This is supposed to be my specialty after all. Yeah, you get the fuck out of here. Ever thought of monetizing it? I can arrange a fight or two. What do you say? Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, you got fights, dude? You got Hold on, let me sit with you. Uh, about these fights, my dude. Tell me a little bit about them. You mentioned something about fighting. Mm. I've seen you land in blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Uh, sounds fair. Coach Fred. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go, put down your eddies, and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Yeah, dude, Crystal. yeah. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start in Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. You are the first nice person I've met here. Thank you so much for believing in me. Yo, what do you got for sale? What have you got for sale? Only top shelf gear. I don't know how buying and selling actually works. White knuckled increases crit chance by 7%. I mean, that seems really good. Increases weapon attack speed so we can fight real quick. So, uh, let's see. This costs 1,000. Oh, 11,401 monies. <laughs> yeah, we're not anywhere close to that. Yo. Thanks for the talk, my dude. You take care. That's good to hear. He believes in me. Uh, a couple words about who you're going against. Kabuki. Won't spoil this smiley face. Just come and see. Uh, uh, Aroyo. Buck. Sixth Street Ganger. Real piece of shit. Glenn. Caesar. Fist like fucking hammers. Animal Club. Rhino. Woman's a legend. Lays everyone flat. I'm gonna track that job. Oh, that's kind of far away, but maybe we can go there. Why does he have a gun icon? Oh, did we shop from him? Yo, we got a pretty sweet setup here for our apartment. All right. Down to uh, street level we go. Oh shit, no! No, send me back! Taking the elevator back up. They said something interesting on TV. Cyber psychosis. Is it a myth or a reality? 31.1% APR, what a deal! Absolutely. <laughs> 
Okay, you got a gun for me, my dude? Good morning. All right, let's see what you got. What I like to hear. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I bet you like to hear that. Oh, this one's for me? Dying Knight doesn't cost anything. Increased headshot damage by 50% and significantly reduces reload time. Has an empty muzzle and scope slot. I would love to put a suppressor on one of these things. That'd be really, really cool. Uh, do you have one of those? You do! Silencer reduces damage by 15%. That's okay. Let's go ahead and get that. You got any red dots, red dot sights on this thing, my dude? Silencer reduces damage by 30%. Oh, is that a better silencer? Components. Uncommon item components. So it looks like there might be some crafting in this game. Uh, do we need ammo? We Nah, we got a bunch of shots, dude. We got so many shots. Uh, all right. All right, I think I'm chilling. Thanks, man. So we got our gun. Let's go to our inventory. We'll go ahead and unequip this one for some reason. Put the new one on. And then put in the silencer in the muzzle slot. I mean, this is probably the safest place for us to look at our gun, so let's take a look at it. Very cool. Can I go to the firing range? I'm trying to, uh, yeah, put my gun away. Oh, is that extra ammo? Is this stealing if it's red? Is there stealing? I mean, that's just another gun on the ground. I feel like I could just take that. Anyway. Am I heading down now, Jackie? Yeah, he's down this time. We're for real getting on the elevator. Okay. All right. The lower floor. Oh, my dude. What do you sell? Burgers, hot dogs, and fries. No way. Just like upstairs. You want your teeth broken? No. It's a weird question to ask. The fuck? It's all in the report. Oh, I read it. All right, I'm heading out. Except there's no mention of me telling you to tell NCPD scanner hustles. The NCPD will pay you to help fight crime. Oh, I like the sounds of that. Fixers, these intermediaries will inform you about local gigs available. Or gigs, fixers will contact you when you approach a gig's location. So it's teaching us how to read the map a little bit. Ossifer. Mm. Nice visor, Man kid. Of the hour. <laughs> hey, my dude, hey! Worked up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Sure. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. I mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that it's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated cool. So, what's the job? So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but, uh... System malfunction. Feel? He's riding on you now, I see. Wait, why me? Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you talk to you look V it's his job his rules I can't blame him for taking a personal approach and it ain't as bad as you think okay trust me guess I got no choice then Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers don't get me wrong don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako but Dex is in a league of his own you know what I'm saying? Space. 
Um, no, really. Not really, no. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. See, see. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the Oh, thanks, my dude. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. You can call your active vehicle to your current location with V. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. Nice. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Yeah, let's, let's go. Feel this factory new ride. So I called it to me. <gasps> I want this car. This is the car that I want. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Yo, thank you so much for fixing this up, my dude. Get in the driver's seat. Breathe there. Ripper Duck and Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. Yeah, easy on the gas, no problem. I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me and Misty. You don't say. Ossifer? She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? That's so good to hear. How do I change the radio station? What if I listen to no radio station? Oh yeah, that's, that's that's the stuff. Just you and the engine in the road, you know what I mean? So are there stoplights here? How does this work? Oh yeah, hit something. Off to a good start. Yo, it's pretty fucking bright today. What's that blue? Oh, I missed my turn a little bit. I don't have a rear view mirror to see if anyone's behind me, so I'm just gonna- Yeah, we got the turn radius. Look at that. Alright, is this it? Yeah, this is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. Sure, my dude. It's a cool Your arm. Eyes do not belong to you, or rather, not only <laughs> do you truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted the temptation to peek through them? Cameras are all around us, even within us. <laughs> it's co-cartage, dude. That's so cool. For them, it is all mere spectacle. Talk to me. You suggest I gouge out my implants and go blind? Let's just say you're right. So what? Should I just gouge out my optics? Thanks, but no thanks. You are beyond salvation. But not the children of the future. Life untainted by surgery of the sacrilege. We can yet save them. May the mothers shield their bodies. May the fathers instill their hatred for Crow. But who are those who follow our every step, you ask? Why, the titans of entertainment in Alpha Centauri! In their wretchedness, they placate their weary and oppressed masses by putting our laughter, our tears, oh on Look, full display! Nasty guy. Like in that show! Quick, get next to him. I'll snap a still of you arresting him for revealing government <laughs> secrets. Open your mind before it's too late! <laughs> Jessica will like die when she sees this. You have Let's so much hair. Nova. I just can't. So All right, Cole, you take care of my dude. Nah, you keep being you. Yeah, the government's looking through your eyes and shit. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh, this is a beautiful shop you have here. Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. <gasps> is that his girlfriend? I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. Uh, good to meet you, you Misty. Look 
Because I am. Always. Makes for easier living. Open your mind! God, he's really yelling through the walls there. Showing down on something over there, huh? Oh, it's a cat! Hi! Oh, you're so handsome. Let me get on the stairs so I can see you better. Do you have enough food? Oh, here, 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 here. I'll, um... Cyberware backpack. I'll give you my burrito. Oh, oh, it, you you know where it is. It's uh, just going down the stairs a little bit. Yo, you be careful with that fucking gun around this cat, my dude. What the fuck? It's it's right here. Is he watching a fight? Hey, Victor! Vicky, surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Can I come in? Last gig. Though common practice, cyberware installation is still dangerous and invasible procedure. Oh, that just means that it's invasive surgery. Like, it, it probably has a recovery time. Probably doesn't feel too good. They gotta dig inside of you. Invasive procedure which can only be performed by qualified specialists, Ripper Docs. There are several Ripper, Ripper Docs operating throughout Night City who offer a variety of different cyberware upgrades. Select your desired cybernetic upgrade from a list and enjoy your new abilities. The jack into a client's neuro socket. I think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, Hypersensitivity to bright lights. It was so oh, bright Kit outside. Noodle. It was so bright. All right, Kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Um, have you heard of Dexter Deshaun? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But something you're not telling me, Vic. Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. So, about those upgrades. Kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Hitting the nice major toss. Leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is system something. malfunction again. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Uh, I don't have that much at all. Yeah, I I'll pay you once the job's done. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You here? Yes, sir. Chair, please. Sit Should I feel good about relax. your hands? Yo, he has like bruising on his arms from whatever he just injected. Look at that. <gasps> He's got track marks. Wow, that's nice attention uh, to detail. Yeah, yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. You look great. Karoshi Optics. Best I've got and should be about right under the circumstances. Now, Jack, in. Okay. Sure. You know, that the Kiroshi stuff, that's good, right? Kiroshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy, then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, let's jack off together. I mean, jack in together. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. 
I hope he can figure it out. Cybernet again plants are mechanical replacements for the organ organic parts of your body. They can give you superhuman like abilities, which can improve your combat capability and help you survive in hazardous conditions. Although a common practice in 2077, the installation of cyberware is still invasive and sometimes dangerous med medical procedure. Only specialists known as Ripper Docs are trusted to install cyberware safely. Okay, so uh, ocular systems, he's, he's putting something in there, right? What about my hands? A uh, ballistic core cop cop processor increases the chance to ricochet shots with powerful weapons. Directly links the user's optical implant to the weapon systems, offering real-time data tracking. That sounds cool. So I guess like part of this game is you you decide how much of a human you want to be, huh? RAM upgrade. You need eight intelligence. We don't have that. I don't think we're going to be getting too many RAM upgrades. Circuitry. Yeah, let's do the hand thing, I guess, since it seems like it's the only one we could do. Cyberware you acquire in the world can be installed or sold at any Ripper dock. Skeleton. Can I get strong bones, my dude? Increases carrying capacity. I mean, that's pretty cool. Gorilla arms. Gorilla arms charge with each attack. When you perform a strong attack, they deal bonus damage based on charge level. Gorilla arms also allow you to force open locked doors and rip turrets from their bases. Yo! I like that. I like that a lot. We're probably going to get some gorilla arms, my dude. Okay, and then this is the optic that he's installing, the Kiroshi Optics Mark One. Enhance your vision. Empty cyberware mod slot. Kiroshi Optics Cyberware is a widely popular suite composed of electro neural enhancements with environment scanning functionality. Cool, dude. Are we good, man? Mark One, like I said, decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Sure. Well, that seems really useful. This should do the trick. Talks to Kiroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Uh, yes, sir. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Cutting? Feel anything? Uh, n n nothing. Same as always. Don't feel a thing. You ask me that every time, you know? Not as if things are going to be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what do I know? I'm just a doctor. That's what I thought. Lights out for a minute, <laughs> all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. Oh my god, the eyes on the you table might feel still. feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Thank you. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? But very blurry. Is that it? I've seen more dramatic improvements before. Patience, kid. Give it a minute. Scanning people with your optical cyberware can provide you with a lot of useful information, such as how strong an enemy might be, who's in their crew, and what type of weapon they use. As a skilled net runner, you can see a list of quick hacks which you can use against your enemies. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm with anything, really. 
The scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. NCPD database access granted. NCPD final search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. A database of individuals with bounties assigned to them is now available to use. You can identify these wanted persons with your scanners. Since all are wanted, dead or alive, the methods you use to claim your reward is entirely up to you. That's very cool. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. <sighs> That's why there's no sights. First of all, this isn't my weapon. Uh, what about that virus? How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Thanks so much, my dude. I love your tattoos, by the way. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Uh, what am I looking at? A mild stim. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Two puffs now and one in an hour? Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. Appreciate you, my and once dude. Once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. I will never forget my friends, dude. Never. Right up, you idiot. He wasn't talking to me. All right, little kitty. Don't forget that burrito downstairs, okay? That's all yours. Don't let anyone take it from you. Cole, you gotta stop screaming about this. Black, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, and yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Sure, you come in or you stay in here, my dude? See you later, Listen, Cole. Without... I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. I gotta be honest, I wasn't really listening. There are various ways to incapacitate enemies without killing them. Long non-lethal takedowns, non-lethal quick hacks, non-lethal weapons, EMP grenades, and some combat gadgets. Weapon mods that change damage to non-lethal. If a given weapon, combat, gadget, or quick hack deals non-lethal damage, it'll be mentioned in the description. So there's a shootout happening on the street here, and everyone's just kind of okay with it. I'm gonna try to see who's actually fighting. Patrol officer. Uh, Dude, hacking in this game seems like it'd be really fun. Should I help? Performing certain actions will roar you with street cred. Bill your street cred to make a name for yourself. And the Night City Underworld doing so will open up new opportunities. Oh, gotta reload. Awesome first. 
I didn't know about that wheel. That was cool. What, what were they up to? Better not get too close, asshole. Asshole? I just saved you. Well, looks like these belong to me now. Power weapons allow you to control the direction of a bullet ricochet if you have ballistics compressor cyberware and the trajectory generator mod for Kiroshi optics. No shit. That's cool. That's definitely superhuman shit right there. Oh, she's bleeding everywhere. Counterfeit documents. I thought they'd be a little more excited about me coming to help out. Yeah, you got anything? Did you just talk to me as a dead person? Oh, there's your weapon. Whoa, that looks sick, actually. Hello? All right. Well, where were we? So Dex is parked on the street here. Let's check our weapons, make sure they're reloaded. 135 shots plus 21 in the gun. Well, let's put that away. Sorry, I keep holding alt. When I just mean to double tap. Nice car, my dude. Uh, hello. Yes, thank you. Yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter a pleasure. in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Yeah, dude. Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? How they remember you, that's all that counts. Mr. Nobody's don't survive in Night City. <laughs> I'm gonna Hello. do that it's one. first place and no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right. Listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Uh, okay. Tell me more. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Uh, yeah, no problem at all, my dude. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. So, uh, tell me about the client. Client? What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. So, what's the issue? What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Yeah, sure. I got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see? Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. 
And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Oh. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. All right, who's the woman? Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything, my dude. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Where have we been driving to this whole time, my dude? We just chilling? We on the way there? All right, team, I think that's where we're going to end today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, Let me think. Huh. Should have thought of that before. Take care. One more thing, Mr. B. Oh. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? I think I'd prefer the quiet life, to be totally honest. Later now. Yeah, thanks, my dude. Take care. Good meeting you. Call that a limo, huh? Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally at night, yeah? Uh... He wants to check us out, see if we got what it takes. The guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. He wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot. Military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right. Heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha! <laughs> Sing on. Swim my gun away. Uh, then there's this other thing. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Yeah. Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Mm, I'm gonna start with the client, I think. Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods, put my nose to the ground, sniff around. Hasta luego. Hasta mañana, my dude. Take care, everybody. I'll see you again tomorrow at 9 a.m.